comes off quick and spinny, eh? Yeah, no. I haven't played golf for like five weeks, I think. Yeah. So this is like the end of the trip. This will probably be uploaded after I get back to England. But I've been caddying for Steve out here for the last three weeks for European Tour events. And now we've got a couple of days where we're going to try and play three different golf courses. So this is the first one. And then where are we playing tomorrow? Uh, Houghton tomorrow. Houghton tomorrow and then Bryanston Country Club on Thursday with Connig. I just want to make a few excuses. First of all, I haven't played for five weeks. Secondly, we had a bit of a celebration, didn't we? After, uh, after our last tournament. Yeah. And, and I woke up in the morning and there was a hole in my sock and blood. And I've, I think I've like stepped on a plug. So we've been to the pharmacy, I've wrapped up my foot, but I can't really move I mean, on it. I thought you were going to have to have it amputated at one point. It, it was close. You know so where you're got, going here, don't you? Yeah, it's far, not sure of the, uh, what's the, I'll zoom in on the yardage there. We've got 470 meters, all the yardage has been meters, par five. Uh, sometimes, we used to play the Joburg Open here and occasionally they play it as a par four. Um, so the trap at the left, I think it's about 240 to carry. Okay. You want to, you want to favour left and right. Okay. So like over the edge of the tree, basically. Yeah, yeah. Finishing over the middle of that trap's perfect. Okay. Right. The other thing, I've hit some balls, and we're we're using just Steve's clubs. We've got like 20 clubs in the bag, um, so we're sharing. All right. No worries. Um, and every shot in the range went 30 yards right. So. I'm just going to have to try and aim for a little fade. Yeah, at least you know which way it's going. Yeah, that's always good. He'll get this one to go left now. Oh yeah, hang on. Up the right side. Be right. Right, Steve, sorry. Oh. After three made cuts on the European Tour. I'll probably uh, get my ass handed to me today. <laughs> I highly doubt that, mate. You've got all the excuses. I've got no excuses. Yeah, that's that, true. So. Heading towards the trap. Just in it, I think. Oh, it gets a bit further than I thought. I don't know if that's good elevation or not. 2.08. What have we got? you got your... Uh, um, Got to say though, this is by far one of the best courses in Johannesburg. Yeah, without no, a doubt. It's a treat this place. Yeah, it's a proper, proper good golf course. So, um, yeah, make sure you leave the video a like, just because I know after these three rounds, I'm probably not going to be able to get any nice course vlog content up in nice weather on decent golf courses until I come back here in the new year. So the, the buggy is adjusted. The so buggy is adjusted. Two, six, 217, but playing 208 with the slope. Uh -huh. Just if, uh, Buggy's know. got slope? Yeah. Clever That's buggy, isn't going. it? I should have actually. Steve found the trap that he thought he could carry here. Well, it was 240, but that's from where the buggy was. <laughs> Not from where we were teeing off. If I had my normal caddy, he would have been on that and said, no, you can't. Yeah, I'm not playing, buggy, not with you today, I'm against you. Yeah, now you're against me. I'll keep quiet. <laughs> it's a bit bright, isn't it? Have you ever keep an eye on this one? Yeah, mate. Strike. Just heading down the right side of the green. Just right of it, maybe. Got a little kick right. Possibly in the trap down there, I'm not sure. Just take that. I'm just going to enjoy this as well, just so, watching you rake your own bunkers. I know. I'm normally strutting off. It's a sad parking. story, isn't it? Usually you've chucked the club at me. <laughs> and then you said, rake it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm, no I've I'm not, not joking. Like I'm, I'm joking, he's been a very nice I player. Hit actually. A lot of bunkers the last few weeks, so. Yeah, he did make me work for it, to be fair. So, first tee shot back, and you're on the fairway. Yeah, 189 playing 180. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much. much going on. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know how to film that, but. So a little bit of tree trouble. You going under, over, or around? I'm going around it, mate. I've got this fade going on at the moment. So. Going on at the moment? In the 20 balls you've been back? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't play for too much. Less than what you feel, if you know what I mean, because it's altitude. Yeah. Fading the six iron should be about right. It's quite hard to shape the ball a lot up here. Not the nicest, right? <laughs> 
Just down the front right, that's alright from there. It's, uh, not the best. I mean, you did have chipping practice for about half an hour at Leopard Creek two weeks ago. Oh, this is weird grass, isn't it? Yeah. No, it'll take you a day or two to get used to the different flights and stuff. So we've got 20, 25 yards or something. Not sure what I got there. Right, not the best Eliza. Just no, on the upslope. Sat down a little bit. This is quite big for me because when I first come here four weeks ago, I played 14 holes and didn't have one birdie. So this really? is a. Is, did you walk off after 14 holes? There was or? a storm coming. Right. And my mate absolutely ripped me. So I didn't have a birdie the day before neither. Raking them again. I can see why you didn't like caddying for me. You try avoiding them, mate. I maybe. know. Alright, so we've got 25 feet, a bit of right to left. See if we can open the birdie account. Pick her up. Sorry, I'll get back, keep everyone happy. Just so they're satisfied. It's a good second take. Start on take five. All right, Steve, with the birdie putt. Oh, here he goes. One under. Right, well, we've got a massive par three. 230 meters. Playing 212. Playing 212. Is it that far downhill? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And we've got a wind coming from sort of like here it's quite blustery today yeah there's a bit of a uh, decent bit of breeze for Joburg so probably playing about 215 I would say yeah meters which is yards because we're at elevation if you haven't seen the other videos you sort of do the 10% rule because we're uh, up in the air oh, well we're not we're up. raised up you know Yeah, solid. Should catch the middle. Beauty. Put you in four iron, did you say? Four iron, yeah. At that tree on the left. And it should fade. Hello. That should be alright. Short. Ooh, a bit short. Well, you flash that on that. Yeah, that was alright. James, just a, a little bit short there on the approach. It's quite a downhill on the green when it lands. Yeah, pitch it three or four on, it should be fine. It. Three or four on, is it? Touch may have to uh, take it a bit. Yeah, it'll take a few in. chips. To I think the touch is going to take a few holes to uh, to come back slightly. That's pretty bad. We have to ease off, okay, in the comments. Right, Steve's got a putt up the hill. Looks from his ball, it's breaking off the left a bit. Birdie putt. Just push that a bit, maybe. Yeah, fine. Right, James's chip shot just ran on a bit. Well, you almost uh, landed in ice, so. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you were. You I thought you were just going for the slam dunk. But yeah, he basically hammered it. Just trying to give him a bit of confidence and a bit of credit, really. He's not taking it at all. Oh, we've got a bit of wildlife trouble. Sorry. Right, hey, easy game. 
Easy game, the boy is back. Right, we've got a little um, a little guest on the tee. Having a go at some worms, maybe? Or just grass, mud? Dunno, so literally all these things do is just walk around, sticking their head in the ground. We've got a 460 meter par four, which is, you can't really fade one into that fairway. You've got trees covering the left side. You've got a bunker down there, 296 did you say yeah so there's a bit of room left you can if you get one going around there you can try and hug the left okay yeah good ball just left the bunker yeah. standard Just up the left half. Right. You might have to go on the bush now. Playing 188, centre of the fairway. What have you got, mate? Five. Should be a good five iron. Yeah. Probably a little bit short, maybe, but. Yeah, I think wind is just pretty much straight off the left here. Feels good to be in a buggy and not carrying 20 kilos round. Be interesting. One seven two. At the semi, wind into off the left. Well, I've no idea how far I'm hitting it. I'm just gonna hit a little seven iron, I think. Grip down on it. Grip down it a bit. Got a little smile on the face or not? Middle of the lawn. Yeah, it's a great shot. Very good. Alright, James after a lovely little second shot in there. I reckon he's been sneaking off to practice whilst I've been sleeping at night. Oh my word. He's back. He's found his natural habitat at the altitude. Right, Steve with the par putt. Should be a little bit of right to left swing. Swinging. Giving it just outside the hole, I think. There we go. Maybe right edge. But solid mate. Four three five uphill, dog leg left to right, wind off the right. Uh, we want to be trying to. James is going to try and take on this bunker on the right hand side there. Is it about two eighty meters to carry it, like a safe line. I would say yeah, two eighties to be safe. Little knuckle ball. That's a knuckle ball, isn't it? Never hit one with such low spin. Right, Steve-o. I'll go straight at the middle track. Yeah, windy out here, guys. That is heading towards the right-hand side of it. Just right of it, mate. Right, Fine. 183 playing 193. My pin's just tucked. Up behind the trees there, over the bunker. Trees aren't really in play though, are they? No, it should just be a fairly stuck five iron, I think. Good shot. Long. Bit long? Bit long, yeah, no, it might be a bit too much club. Right, Steve, about... Five yards less. Gonna hit five iron based on my shot there. Well, unless you're lying to me. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure mine's sort of like gone over the back left. How's the strike? Uh, a little bit top groovy, probably middle of the green. Yeah, it's got on the back tier maybe. Yeah, a bit of a lazy swing. I'm just sizing up his chip shot here. What have you got, 20 yards? Hobbling again, not sure he's keeping going, but he is. I know. It's terrible. I know, I'll give you a bit of stick, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, it should all just run down to the hole, a bit off the left. Comes off quick and spinny, eh? Yeah, very spinny. Good four. One under three four, no golf for three weeks. I like it. Hey, Steve with about 30 foot. How much is this moving, mate? Uh, hopefully around two feet. Okay. Yeah. A bit more. Good speed, mate. Pick it up. I've right, got a great little par three now. Um, Water short and then it sort of goes round to the left. So that water is about pin high, isn't it, on the left? Would you uh, yeah, say? I'd say so. Yeah, about pin high. Yeah, so you've got to, with that pin, looks like you've got to keep it sort of right of the water. Um, what's the number? 144, 150 playing 144. 144. Okay. Step into it, give yeah, it go on then, mate. While you're give it a go. I have no idea what I'm hitting. What have you got, an 8? Yeah, I'm at 8. I'm probably going to hit a 9 iron, I think. Got the golf course to ourselves up here. Just tweaking a tiny bit. Splash. Splish splash. Splish splash. Change with eight iron as well. After seeing me balloon mine up into the water. Another ball bites the dust. Shot mate, couldn't quite see it over the bank. Can I peek? Right, Steve's just taking a drop before the water. It's got about a 35 yard pitch. Yeah, it's quite a bit of wind up in here. Which didn't really feel from the tee, I don't think. Great shot. James, after a stunning uh, little approach shot there. Sort of 12, 13 feet. Up the hill. Give it a bit of this, actually. Oh, hello. Do you use aim point? You do a bit, don't you? I do. I just get an idea of my feet. Bit of a double breaker. Yeah. I'm sort of going to go left, go right early, and then pretty much straighten up, I think. So I'm going to give this outside the left edge. Hang on. Ooh, swung a lot. That's fine mate, good three. What have we got? Six, five, twenty-three meters. Standing hole, slightly downhill. There's a trap at the left, a couple of traps and water at the right. Yeah, I would just favour right edge of the traps. The old one-hander that's gone. Straight down the middle. Just off the bottom, that's all. I'll get abuse for that. Only Tiger Woods is allowed to drop clubs and take the hand off the club, apparently, so... No, sorry. I agree. Shocking behaviour. Right, straight over the ducks. I'm not sure if they're Egyptian geese or not. Yeah, not bad. Just hugging the right side. Should see it down. 
There she blows. Pretty sure these are the Egyptian geese, aren't they? But they haven't got mohawks. Mohawks? No, they're definitely Egyptian geese. Look how many of them are. Yeah, and there's loads of what I like them. Yeah, about 200 to the water. Got to hit it over a water. Over a little water hazard under the tree. What have you got? Four. Just trying to blow four. Little like punchy that. four. Probably try and get it down there about 175, 180 meters, which is yards. If you haven't picked that up by now. Oh, camera work is a joke. All right. Yeah, no, it's a strong par five. It's great though, because if you are an absolute bomber, sort of you've got to hit it up in the narrow bit between the water. 257 meters. Hello. Oh. I can't is this your favorite three wood? Mate, I, just, I tried to hit three wood on the uh, practice ground and top it. Yeah, you dented the sole of my club with that, I think. <laughs> Come on, let's see it. You're not coming this all this way to lay up. No, he's trying to get in my head. 15B1, is that? Yeah, yeah, that's the... Try and place it better than that. They're placing it twice? In... Yeah. Right, different rules in South Africa. <laughs> this is strong, isn't it? Yeah, you'll freeze, freeze that there, I think. Oh. Gee, I got so excited. <laughs> wow. Going, mate? Wow. This is uh, how I'm going to prepare for all my tournaments now, I think. Yeah. yeah I well, I'll just watch that back. I'm, I'm calling that sabotage, mate. <laughs> I couldn't see on the screen, and I thought I'd better zoom, but I couldn't see. I was actually looking at the top of the trees. You did, you did say you got excited. I did just... get excited. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I apologise. Oh, well. It's like fine, it's the cigar. You see where it's gone. What have you got? 70. Try and just eat my lunch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not Winston Churchill. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of dried beef or something. I've just tried one, they're horrible. That's lovely. Desired taste, I think, that stuff. What's this, 60? Yeah. Yeah, good shot. Coming in from there, is it? Just a tad, trying. If someone was filming it, we could have seen it, to be honest. Right, it's okay. 16, 17 feet. Come on, mate, roll it in, make an eagle. It's going to town on this. Uh, no, good four. Probably should have trusted my trusted my feet a bit more there than than the eyes. You go against your feet a bit. Uh, well, visually it looked like it was going left. My feet were telling me it was you know pretty straight all the way down the hill. So yeah, I did go against my feet. Just outside the hole. Yeah, just outside the right. Oof. 